Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy hump day. So today is Wednesday. We are in front of Walmart. We're going to run in and do our I bought a haul. So my plan is to come here at Walmart and do majority of our rebates and then potentially go to Sprouts and then also go to Publix for a couple items as well. So I'm trying to finish out this $40 bonus that we have, the Become an Icon bonus. We also have our midweek moneymaker bonus. I believe mine is a dollar. And then we also have this choice. Well, I won't say we, because I don't know if everybody got this option when they signed into their Ibotta. But I think I told you guys a couple days ago that I had signed in and it gave me the option to choose like a $5 bonus, a $2 bonus, and then some any brands. So now the $2 bonus is popping up. So we're going to try to finish that. If you are a brand new subscriber, thank you so much for coming to my channel and finding my channel. I really hope you find it informational and more relatable. I am not like a super giddy person, always like on a hundred every single day. I'm not that person. So hopefully my channel is a lot more relatable for you guys. Um, and if you're already a current subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video of mine. So yesterday I did not do a video. I was actually in the store yesterday. I was at CVS to do the second haul. I was in the store recording. And when I woke up yesterday, I just didn't feel good. Mentally, I just wasn't there. Um, yesterday was just not a good mental health day for me. And there were just a lot of stuff going on. And then my husband called me as I was trying to check out to tell me that his tire blew. He's fine. He didn't get into an accident or anything like that. But his tire blew. Um, so he drove back to our house and then he was waiting to see if he had a spare tire because we had a whole bunch of crap in his trunk so we had to move everything so he can see if he had a spare tire but when he called me I literally was checking out and trying to make sure I had the math correct before I could leave and when he told me that it completely threw me off so I was getting frustrated that I couldn't figure out the math and then I had to rush to leave to go get my kids now because he was supposed to pick them up but with his tire blown he couldn't pick them up and our house is literally right across the street from their daycare so and I was like 10-15 minutes away so I was late picking them up and then I literally I got home and I just sat in my car just with it on just sat in my car like listening to music not even on my phone just sitting there because I just mentally I just needed a break for a minute before I like did anything else so yesterday was just yesterday was just a hard mental health day for me so um that's why I made the pinned comment in yet in Monday's video I made the pinned comment so you guys could see it that I was taking yesterday off I literally had all the clips in my phone that I was going to edit together to do the video to post it but it just I I just needed to take a break so I really appreciate those of you guys who have commented and who have reached out to me I still feel like crap today um I've had a headache that turned into a migraine for two days now so my head really hurts and it's really bright outside and I don't have any sunglasses right now I don't know where they are so like the light hurts everything hurts right now but I took medicine earlier this morning I took medicine right before I left I literally have been in bed all day I made my husband take our kids to school this morning because I just I physically couldn't do it but I still wanted to do the video for you guys today especially with an Ibotta haul because it is a lot easier and more newbie friendly to do Ibotta hauls because you don't need like a store account or anything like that. It is mainly like printable coupons or honestly just using Ibotta in general without any coupons. So we're going to go ahead and run inside. I'm going to try to complete all these bonuses if humanly possible. I think it shakes out to about 31 rebates, which I think right now I have on my list on Ibotta, I think I have about 25 to 30. So I think if we do a couple of pay with Ibottas, then we should be able to finish everything out today. For all purposes right now, we're just going to try to finish out our bonuses. Um, so let's go ahead and run the store. All right, you guys, so the first one we're going to pick up is going to be on some Skin to Mint razors. So we're going to pick up the Skin to Mint Bloom price at $7.97. 
previously printable from coupons.com. We're going to go ahead and use this $4 off one printable coupon. Then we're going to submit our receipt to, Q to Ibotta to get $3 back. So it's going to make this razor just $0.97. Cents. Then we're also going to come up here and pick up one of the refills as well. They're priced same $7.97. We can use the same coupon because if you read the description, it includes the razor and the refill. We'll submit to Ibotta for a separate rebate for $3 back, making the refills also at $0.97. Cents. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pick up one of these Chic Hydro Men's Razors, priced at $8.97. Not from this past Sunday, but the Sunday prior. We had these $4 off one insert coupon, so I'm going to go ahead and use one of these. Then we're going to submit our receipt to Ibotta for $4 back, making the men's razor just $0.97. Cents. All right, you guys, so the next one we're gonna do is gonna use Shopkick, and it's also gonna use Ibotta. So we're gonna pick up one of the Degree Men, the four count bars for $4.97. And then we're gonna go ahead and pick up one of the body wash, the women's body wash for $5.47. That's gonna total us $10.44. Previously printable from coupons.com, we're gonna go ahead and use these two printable coupons, one for $1.50 off the bar soap, and then one for $2 off of the body wash. So we'll pay $6.94 in store, submit to Ibotta for $2 back on the body wash, $1.50 back on the bar soap. Then we're also gonna submit our receipt to Shopkicks. Shopkick has a bundle going on right now where you purchase one of the degree women, you get 200 kicks. And when you purchase one of the degree men, you also get 200 kicks. But then when you purchase them both on the same receipt, you get an additional 500 kicks. So in total, you're going to get back 900 kicks from Shopkicks. So you multiply that by 0 .004, you get $3.60. So our final out of pocket cost for both products will end up being free and a 16 cent money maker. So these Hollywood Stars dog treats, they're priced at 75 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one. There's a 10 cent any dog treat or cat food treat that is attaching and making this just 65 cents. So in the hair care aisle, these little Palmer olive oil formula, the deep conditioner packets, so they're priced at $1.42. These are attaching to the dollar rebate on a bottom, making these just 42 cents. And I like using deep conditioners on my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up three of these because I believe the limit is three. Next, we're gonna pick up the Bolt 24 Gatorade drinks. So they're priced at $1.28. We're gonna pick up two. On some of the products, there are a dollar off two hang tags. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. So we'll pay $1.56 in store for two. Submit to Ibotta for 25 cents back, limit of one, making it $1.31 for two. Next, we're going to pick up this 8 count of Powerade. So they're priced at $4.78 in my store. No coupons, no hang tags or peelies. So we're going to pay that. Submit to Ibotta for $0.50, cents, making it just $4.28 for an 8-pack. This next one is a Shopkick deal. It is not an Ibotta deal. So we're going to pick up the Super Danimals again. So they're priced at $2.98. Shopkicks has a rebate for 675 kicks. When you multiply that times 0 .004, you get $2.70, so it's gonna make each one just 28 cents, and they have a rebate for the blueberry and for the strawberry as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do this combo again. So we're gonna pick up the Ritz Cheese Crispers for $2.93. Then we're gonna pick up one of the Ritz that have the cheese in there for $2.18. So these two products will total us $5.11. From the other Walmart, we're gonna go ahead and use this 50 cent off one Peely. So we'll pay $4.61 in store, submit to Ibotta for $2.98 back when you purchase two, making just $1.63 for two. Next, I'm going to pick up this protein pancake mix. So it looks like they only have the blueberry flavor, but we're going to pick it up anyway. So it's priced at $3.47 in my store. Ibotta has a rebate for $2 back, and there's also a $0.10 cent any pancake mix that is attaching. So we'll get $2.10 back, making this box just $1.37. Check your Ibotta app to see if you got this free offer for the Simple Mills. So they are priced at $5.44 in my store. Ibotta is giving us back $5.49, making it completely free. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Frutella gummies. So they're priced at $2.28. Ibotta is giving us back a dollar, making it just $1.28. 
Next, I'm gonna pick up some Incognito products. I'm gonna actually pick up the burgers this time for $5.48. I'm gonna pick up a couple of these because my head hurts really bad, you guys. I'm struggling through the store, so I'm probably just gonna make this for dinner tonight. We're gonna try to find some that have the peelies on it for a dollar, so we'll pay $4.48 in store. Submit to I bought it for $2.50, making just $1.98 for the two. They're basically, I think they're like plant plant-based um, burgers. I'm also gonna pick up some of the chicken nuggets for my kids, so just adjust your math accordingly since these are priced at $5.27. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more of the spaghetti and meatballs. So they're 88 cents. I bought is gonna give us back 25 cents, making this can just 63 cents. So now I'm up by checkout. I'm getting ready to leave. So I'm going to pick up one of the Nutella to goes. So they're priced at $1.48. We're going to submit to a bottle for 50 cents, making this just 98 cents. You guys, I finally freaking found these. So I've been looking everywhere for these. So the Cheese It, the Snack and Surprise, they're priced at, hang on, let me go ahead and scan it because it doesn't look like it's tagged over here. Okay, so they're priced at $2.48. I bought it has a rebate for a dollar, making it just $1.48. So they have this one, and then they also have a Scooby-Doo one that's on Ibotta, but I, I haven't found a Scooby-Doo one yet, but if you can find both, then you'll get a dollar back for each one. So I just really need some water, so I'm going to pick up the Dasani for $1.68. Ibotta's going to give me back $0.40, cents, making it $1.28 for one. Guess what we found, you guys? We found the Scooby-Doo one. So this is on a um, completely different aisle. It's still checkout. So if you're looking for these, look in the checkout aisles. While we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the Snickers. So they're priced at 88 cents. We're gonna submit to our bottle for 50 cents, making it just 38 cents. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the Trident Pocket Gum. So they're priced at $1.88. We're gonna pick up two. Submit to a bottle for $1.88 back when you purchase two. So it's gonna just make it buy one, get one free. So we are at Sprouts now. So I wanna pick up one of these Zum Bars or Zoom Bars. I wanna say it's Zum. So it's some kind of like um, milk soap bar. I don't know how much the individual price is. It just has like the bulk price, $25.99 per pound. I'm just gonna pick up two of these. We'll see how much it is when we get to the register, but Ibotta has a dollar rebate back on each one. Next, I'm gonna pick up the Oi Protein Bar, the Wholesome Bar. So they're two for five this week. We have a buy one, get one free digital coupon on the app, so that'll take off $2.50. Then we're gonna submit to Ibotta for $1.50, a loan of one, just making it a dollar for two or 50 cents each. On the Sprouts app, we have a free digital coupon for the Mush Overnight Oats. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up one, use that digital coupon, and then we're gonna submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back, making this not only free, but a 50 cent money maker. Also in this section, we're gonna pick up this Kite Hill yogurt. So they're two for three, but we're only gonna pick up one. Then we're gonna submit to Ibotta for $1.99, and it's a free offer. So we're gonna get another yogurt for completely free. The last thing that we're going to pick up in here is going to be on the superfood creamer. So we're going to pick up two for $8.49 each. There is a $9.50 back rebate when you purchase two on Ibotta. And also when you scan the barcode, there is an additional rebate attaching for $3 back with I think a limit of three. So when everything is said and done and you submit your receipt, it's going to make these just $1.03 for two. All right, you guys, so we are back from Walmart and Sprouts, and this is everything that we picked up. So I decided not to stop at Publix. My head was really starting to bother me, and I have to pick my kids up soon. And I wanted to try to get this posted, edited and posted before I leave to go pick them up. So we have a couple of receipts from Walmart because I did, I think, four or five of the Pay With Ibotta's to lessen how many actual items that I had to pick up. So thank you Ibotta for allowing us to use Pay With Ibotta and having a count towards an offer that is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and go over our receipts. All right, so here's our first transaction. So nothing crazy going on in this receipt. I didn't have any coupons for this one. So I did the, um, the gum on this one. I did the candies from checkout. I did a lot of checkout stuff on this receipt and I picked up my water. So my subtotal for this transaction was twenty forty three. Here's my second transaction. So this one is smaller because I try to keep my shop kicks receipts smaller 
Um, it, it, it's almost like swag bucks, but you can take multiple photos of your receipt for Shopkix. But I feel like if you have a smaller receipt, it takes less time for them to evaluate everything and give you the kicks back. So that's what I did here. So the only coupons I had here were for the, um, the degree products. So my subtotal here was 1768. Here's our third transaction. So in this one, I did the Palmer's, the conditioner for $1.42. Then I did the razors. And as you guys can see, I did the same thing that I did last time where I scanned the product, scanned the coupon, scanned the product, scanned the coupon. So that way I can try to minimize me for getting to scan peelies and stuff like that. So my subtotal here was $17.17. Here you can see that I did the same thing. So in this one, I picked up all of the Cognito products. After each one, I did use the dollar off one Peely. Then I did the spaghetti and meatballs in this transaction. And uh, what's the caffeine for $1.28? Hmm. Oh, that's the um, the Bolt Energy drink. And there's that dollar off one hang tag. So this one was $19.94. Here's our last transaction from Walmart. So in this one, I did the Ritz combo stuff. Then there is my 50 cent Peely. Um, there is my all of the Frutella. So they pop up on the receipt as C. I have no idea why, but my subtotal was $19.48. And the only coupon I had for this one was, was a 50 cent Peely for the Ritz. Lastly, here's our Sprouts receipt. So there are my two creamers for $16.98. There are the overnight oats, the yogurt, and then the super green bars, and then the two soaps. So they ended up being $7.80 for two of those bar soaps, and I was going to put it back, but I was like, well, I mean, it's fine. So I picked it up anyway, so all of our coupons came off. So we had a subtotal of $29.44. So everything here before coupons with um, all of our transactions from Walmart and also at Sprouts totaled $149 before coupons. After coupons, we paid $124.14. And no, it did not come out of my bank account and came out of my couponing money from my PayPal debit card. So we got back $69.89 from my Ibotta for just regular rebates for the items. We got back 49 cents in our gift card rebates. So when you do pay with Ibotta and you purchase the Walmart gift card, you get a percent back. So our total amount that we got back was 49 cents. We also finished our $1 midweek moneymaker bonus. We also finished our $2 choice rewards bonus. We also finished our 50 cent level one March bonus. And we got back $9 from Shopkicks. That was for all the degree products and the animals. And we also met our $40 bonus. That's going to take a minute to populate because Sprouts was our last receipt. And normally when you're doing Sprouts, it takes a little bit to populate. It pens for like 24 hours. And when you have a large bonus that you're getting back, that'll normally pen for a little bit as well. But once we get that $40 bonus back, that's going to make everything here $1.26 for everything here. That includes the chicken nuggets for my kids, the burgers for myself and my husband, the juice, everything here is $1.26. And I think I'm really excited about the... Um, the coffee creamer because i've never tried that one before and i'm not one that likes powdered coffee creamer i like liquid coffee creamer but i'm excited to try that and i think that's a really great deal especially with the two rebates attaching so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys